Hey there, it's Jeff Salzenstein over at jeffsalzensteintennis.com. It's great to talk to you today, and in today's video, you'll see that I, ha I don't have a racket because this is going to be a fitness video where I'm going to show you one of my favorite exercises that can be used for strength training or a dynamic warm-up. And the reason why I like this exercise is, number one, it's based on animal movements. Now, animals, you want to copy them. You want to move like them, the cheetah, the cat. Uh, lots of other animals out there that I could name, but the whole idea is to move gracefully, efficiently, and to be pain-free and injury-free. And you got to get out of that chair, and you got to start walking and start moving. So if you can create animal-based type movements, you're really going to move in the right direction to not only get stronger but to prevent injuries. And in today's ex today's exercise is called the inchworm. And basically, what this is going to do is it's going to work your core. It's going to work your legs. It's also going to work your shoulder function and your upper body. So all I'm going to do is go across the court and I'm going to move like an inchworm going up and down. And again, this is a great warm-up exercise. Exercise. It's going to really challenge you. And uh, why don't you try it out and let me know. So here's a demonstration of the inchworm right now. All right, so the whole idea is to go as far up as you can with your legs and go as far out with your hands, increasing the range of motion, challenging your core, working on your shoulder function. And again, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the inchworm and if there are any other fitness exercises that you would like to see at Jeff Salzenstein Tennis. Thanks a lot for your time today and uh, go kick some butt on the tennis court. Talk to you soon.